Wow, it's 11 o'clock. I woke up around 9, um, and uh, whatever, it's 11. It's a weekend, we have no classes. I'm gonna head to a brunchish sort of meal at uh, Chipotle because I have no clue when the dining hall is open on weekends. If I say this now, it is still technically true since it's 11.41. Good morning, sunshiners and possibly sunshaders. I'm here at Chipotle. Africa. Based on how long the walk was to get to that Chipotle, I'm not sure it's actually the closest one to the place that we're staying at. Uh, oh well. Okay, uh, this is probably the sketchiest bed, bath, and beyond I've ever had to go to. Well, at Bed Bath & Beyond, I got this awesome fan that is really, really good. It's really small, but it's really air, really good for us. Um, I got a bed um, foam thingy that goes on my mattress that will hopefully make it more comfortable. And I also got a couple that was actually a really good purchase, that fan. Uh, so much cooler now on this desk than it was. Thank God. So uh, we're about to uh, go on our movie tour. Basically we're going around Boston and if they film the movie at a certain spot, they're going to uh, show us that spot. And I guess they have, I, okay, people are going over to be in the vlog. Well, I thought all I had to say was that we're going on the movie tour, so... You're going to be in it? you say hi to me? Okay, yeah. hey, more, more, more and more people are coming over. I'm not even sure they're all the same now. Look like a <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sunshaders. Sunshaders! <laughs> that's the name that's people who yeah, don't like it. I heard you say it. I'm a fan. Yes. You have to tell oh, me. Sunshine. I know. Sunshine is right here. Okay, um, sing the song? Awkward cat. Wow, gummy bears are advertised head. Common, it's a rugby scene toward the beginning of the movie. The uh, police academy and the firefighters have a little rugby match. It's filmed over here in the Boston Common, and we're going to take a look at it right here. Movies. First one we're going to see is an early 80s Paul Newman movie called The Verdict. He plays a uh, ambulance chasing alcoholic lawyer in the movie. They turn the inside of our state house into a hospital for the movie The Verdict. That's where he visits the client he's representing in the big case. And hopefully, it's coming right up. Boston Pub, wait, what's this place called? Boston Commons. Thank you, Boston Commons. Uh, this is from a movie called Buzz. Wow, this is where uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's character lived in uh, the game plan. Cool. So apparently this flower shop was uh, modeled to be the uh, flower shop in the town. I have never seen that movie, so I have no way of confirming that. But, so yeah, this was town flowers in the town. Yep. Okay, so this building was used in The Departed. That's cool. Okay, so they used the penthouse of this building for That's My Boy, a movie I've not seen. Most of the places I'm showing, I've never seen the movie that the place was used in. Someone does not like Mike, but they really like Ike. For some strange reason, a lot of the stops in this tour have to do with The Departed, which I have not seen, as I've reiterated multiple times. But apparently, in one scene of The Departed, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was walking around in this area while talking on a cell phone. And I guess that makes it a place to visit, I guess. Apparently it's the most picturesque place on the uh, tour because you have this in the background and such. That funeral home was used in Blown Away, another movie I've never seen. Also in Blown Away were uh, these apartment buildings, though they were very different in that movie. A bunch of movies that I'm not going to go into the names of were filmed using these steps. Hey look, it's the Cheers sign from a TV show that I don't know about, but apparently it was really popular at some point in the past. It is time for me to do some laundry. 
I need to get some money though because I think it's $1.50 for a wash and $1.50 for a dry. So, I'm so I um, learned that the laundry costs money. So I go down and get some money from the ATM. Come back up, get my laundry, go to the laundry room. Turns out, only takes quarters. So I had to come all the way back up to my room. I'm gonna leave my laundry here. I'm gonna go down to the convenience store. I'm gonna get change in like ones and fives and all that kind of stuff. Go to the quarter machine they have on the fourth floor of the place we're staying um, here in the dorms. Uh, get quarters, come back up here, get my stuff, and then go back to the laundry room and then actually do my laundry. To make things even more inconvenient, I now have to go back to the convenience store to get quarters because the quarter machine was out of quarters. Seriously, why freaking quarters? Why? <sighs> Apparently, it's the convenience store's policy that you have to buy something in order to get quarters, and when you get quarters, it's not only can be like one dollar's worth it can't be five dollars worth so i have a couple laundry trips worth of quarters the quarter machine is out of quarters and i only have 50 cents which i got when i purchased something previously at the convenience store this is freaking inconvenient so after asking around for a bit i finally got um three dollars and quarters which is 150 for a wash and 150 for a dry um, so that's really annoying but I managed to get it um, done my laundry is complete I can finally move on to other things a vlog on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's Sunshine Shade. Well, I won't see you, you will see me.